Welcome back to Fox 11 News In Depth. I'm Hal Eisner. We're looking at a potentially grim time for renters very soon. As of October the 1st, California's legal moratorium on evictions will start to expire. And it's not hard to see that the removal of tenants who are behind in their rent will follow soon after. Joining us now, Assemblyman Miguel Santiago. He represents the 53rd District, which encompasses downtown Los Angeles, East LA. And, and Miguel serves on, as the chair of the Assembly Select Committee for uh, Los, uh, Los Angeles County Homelessness. I, you know, I, I gotta ask you, this is such a big concern for so many people as this clock ticks down. What, what are your thoughts on that? And what, what do you wanna tell people? I mean, there are people really biting their nails right now. Well, the first step is apply. And housing is key is where you go to apply. That's the first step. Second is that we put life rafts uh, on this policy. So after the eviction moratorium is over, uh, you can still not get evicted if you are in the process of applying. Uh, even if you were served uh, by your landlord, uh, you have to demonstrate within 15 days that you're applying uh, for the money set forth by the state uh, to prevent you from being evicted all the way till next uh, March. So we did think about that and put some uh, guardrails on there. Uh, but when, they, when the actual moratorium expires and, and somebody hasn't done something, then what? They have 15 days immediately to go out and apply uh, for housing is key uh, dollars. Uh, and that's why we put that there. Uh, and that also gives us the opportunity to come back in December uh, when we can introduce legislation uh, to further extend. But the guardrails are there. So if somebody gets served after the eviction moratorium ends on September 30th, they have 15 days uh, immediately to begin the process of applying for the dollars and demonstrate to the landlord that, that they're in the process and, and that protects them until next March. The, the two conditions to be able to avoid being booted out are? Well, n number one, it has to be COVID related, uh, wh which is why you wouldn't uh, be able to pay the rent. And, and second, uh, you have to demonstrate that you're going after the dollars. But, but this, these monies also help small landlords. Let, let's be very clear about that. So those small landlords, uh, can also apply for the dollars uh, in conjunction with their tenants uh, to help them relieve that debt. And that would be 100%, uh, both for the landlord and for the tenants. Hey, the area you represent, downtown LA, East LA, how big of a problem is this in, in the, these neighborhoods, the, the constituents that you have? Well, it's a, it's a huge problem. We have about 88% uh, percent renters, uh, give or take, in the district that I represent, second poorest district in the state of California, uh, and the average median income uh, are between 40 and 50, depending on what area in my district. Uh, and these monies are exactly uh, meant to help those uh, who are the lowest income, who are struggling the most. So this is a big deal for us, uh, which is why we fought so hard to get it done. Is there a day that goes by that you're not getting phone calls from your constituents? Yeah, and in fact, uh, I've been out there myself uh, knocking on doors and telling people about the services uh, that we have. We are communicating via social media, uh, via email, uh, via phone calls, and, and old school knocking on doors to make sure that people know that these services are out there. That's been one of the biggest challenges, Hal, is letting people know that these services are out there and to apply. Housing is key. Go to the website now and apply. Yeah, I, and I want to know more about housing is key, quote unquote, but you're putting it out on social media, you're knocking on doors, you're sending out emails, and yet still there's so many people that don't know what's going on. And, and why do you think that is? Well, look, it's been a tough uh, year and a half during a pandemic, and I think why people are struggling, sometimes it's hard to break through the noise uh, and what people are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. If you had kids learning at home with distance learning, you had to struggle to get a job, your rents and your bills are, are, are lining up, uh, it's been tough to break through. I mean, we just had a recall campaign uh, where communicating the voters was difficult. We went through the census uh, last year where we had the same uh, obstacles. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is the services are there and, you know, we're hitting the sidewalks and making sure that people know that it's there. Well, you'd think that that if people are facing the potential for eviction, that would be just front and center, right in front of their nose. And they'd be on the phone. They'd be doing whatever they could to make sure they don't end up out on the sidewalk. But apparently people just aren't getting the message. And so tell them a little bit about what house, uh, housing is the key or housing is key is. Housing is Key is a website set up uh, by the state of California where you can go on uh, and take a look at whether or not you qualify uh, for the dollars set forth uh, by the state. And keep in mind, uh, these dollars are meant for those uh, who are at the lowest income level. So if you have uh, not been able to pay your rent because it's COVID related uh, and you fit within the qualifying categories, uh, you could uh, get 100% of your rent paid uh, if you apply. You know, as we like to say in the news business, 
there are two sides to every story. So on the other side of this story, you've got the landlords, and they're screaming too. And, and so what are you doing for the landlords? Yeah, well, these dollars are meant so that the landlords can also apply uh, to pay the tenant's rent. And it's really made that way uh, to both protect uh, the tenant uh, and ensure that the landlords are doing all they possibly can uh, to help that tenant as well. And ultimately, that helps them because if the rent is paid, uh, the landlord can continue with their mortgage. Uh, so it, it works both ways in this particular case. And in fact, uh, we partnered up uh, with uh, uh, landlord organizations as well to get the message out because it's in their best interest. But more importantly, we want to make sure that people don't uh, get kicked out of their apartments when there are uh, dollars available out there. Uh, so I remind everybody, yes, the eviction moratorium ends uh, at the end of September, uh, which is why we're telling people apply for the dollars, apply for the dollars. Housing is key. Uh, and if you are served uh, by your landlord, you have 15 days uh, to apply for the dollars after the uh, moratorium uh, has ended. But this also gives us enough time uh, to get back to the legislature uh, and get back, get back to work in December when we're able to pass uh, and introduce new bills. Exactly the same thing we did last year. Okay. Uh, we put got a bill in place and got back to work. All right, very good. This is a good place for us to end this segment.